What's up world, Matt here, and today we're going to be practicing how to talk about our plans for the future. First, I'm going to ask you some questions so I can hear about your plans for the what's coming up. Then we'll do some activities to practice together and I'll give you a chance to listen to me talking about my future plans. And at the end, I'll come back and ask you the same two questions to see if you can notice your English speaking abilities improving after we do the practice. All right, so the question I want to start out asking you is, what are you going to do tomorrow? What are your plans for tomorrow? Wow, it sounds like you have a busy day coming up. Nice, thanks for sharing. The other question I want to ask you is, what are you going to do this weekend? I want you to think about the weekend that's coming up. What are you going to do to rest or relax? How, what are you going to do next weekend? Nice, that sounds like a really nice weekend plan. All right, let's do some activities to practice and then we'll come back to those two questions at the end and see if we have any different ways we want to answer them. So I have to confess, I have a really selfish reason for choosing topic of future plans. I have really exciting news. Class, I entered a competition and I won a raffle. I bought a ticket and they pulled my ticket and I am going on an amazing vacation. In three weeks, I am going to fly to Cusco in Peru. I'm going to visit museums and historical sites in the city. Then I'm going to take a train to see Machu Picchu. I have always wanted to visit Machu Picchu. So this trip is going to make my dreams come true. Another reason I am so excited is because I love delicious food. I am going to try so many things when I am in Peru. I'm going to eat ceviche, ají de gallina, and maybe I will even try koi. I'm going to be gone for two weeks. So I need you all to promise me that you are going to behave for the substitute teacher and that you are going to keep practicing English while I'm gone. Do you promise? Okay, all right, you're going to do great. Also, I promise that I'm going to take lots of pictures of my trip to share with you. You're gonna be jealous when I come back. Sound exciting, right? Well, that's me sharing some plans for the future with you and you can notice the language that I use. I'm using this phrase, going to. I'm going on an amazing vacation. I'm going to fly to Cusco. So I want us to practice using that phrase now together. To start practicing talking about our future plans, let's work together and create a class field trip that we're going to go on, okay? So this will be an imaginary plan that we make together. I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to give you two options. And then you choose one of them and you say it out loud. Now. Spoiler alert, I can't actually hear you. I recorded this video in the past and you are going to listen to it in the future. So I'm not actually gonna hear what you say, but I will keep asking you questions and I want you to try and keep repeating it so you can be building this plan piece by piece. We are going to come up with five different things to say about our plan. Right? I'm going to ask you five different questions. So first you're going to practice saying just the first answer, then the first and the second, then I'm going to ask you about the first, the second, and the third, and we are going to keep building up our future plans like that, okay? So that's what's going to happen. Alrighty, so as we brainstorm for our class field trip, are we going to the art museum or are we going to the science center? Maybe you say, we are going to the art museum. Or maybe you say, we are going to the science center. So tell me now, are you going to the art museum or to the science center? Nice, okay. So that's the first part of our plan. Keep that in your memory because I'm gonna forget. All right, second question. Are you going in the morning or are you going in the afternoon? You can say, we're going in the morning or we are going in the afternoon. So I want you to try and tell me the answer to both questions now. Where are you going and when are you going? 
Nice. Good job putting that together. I'm hearing you say a complex sentence with two different future plans in a row. Something like, we are going to the art museum and we are going in the morning. Great work. But whatever your plan is, that's awesome. Okay, question number three. Are you going to listen to a guide or are you going to do a self-guided tour? Are you going to listen to the guide or are you going to do a self-guided tour? Nice. Okay, so that's the third piece of information. Let's try to get you to repeat all of them together. Are you going to the Science Center or the Art Museum? Nice work. And are you going in the morning or the afternoon? Good. And are you going uh, with a guide or are you doing a self-guided tour? Nice. Okay, question number four. Are you going to spend a lot of time looking at the exhibits or are you going to spend a lot of time shopping in the gift shop? This question has a correct answer. Okay, creative use of English. I heard some of you out there say both. We are going to see the exhibits and the gift shop. Okay, I will accept both but you have to see the exhibits. You cannot just going to the gift shop. We are not going to the science center or the art museum just to shop in the gift shop, okay? We are going to see the exhibits. Okay, let's try to put all four pieces of information together. Where are we going on our field trip? Nice, and what time of day are we going? Awesome, what kind of tour are we going to do? Nice, and what are we going to see? Yeah, okay, one more question. Um, I'm curious, what are we going to eat? Are we going to bring food or are we going to buy food at the location? What do you think? All right, great. It sounds like we have a nice plan all together. So I'm gonna go through and ask you those five questions and I want you practicing saying these five future plans with that phrase, we are going to, okay? You're speaking for your entire class right now. Maybe you're the teacher and you're leading the class. Or you're just that amazing student and you're speaking for all of the students in the class. So I'm gonna ask you a question and you're gonna answer with, we are going to, and the decision you've made. Uh, where are we going on our field trip? Nice, and what time of day are we going? What kind of tour are we going to take? What are we going to see there? And what are we going to eat? Awesome, it sounds like an amazing field trip. I'm going to have a great time. I'm not gonna lie, I think that last activity was pretty cool. I recorded it today and you are going to listen to it in the future and then it's going to sound like we're having a conversation across time. Kind of. All right, well, I think it's really cool. So let's try it again, but I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging because I think you're doing great and you're going to be ready for more challenge. So this time I want you to think up some imaginary plans for this weekend but I'm not going to give you options. I'm just going to ask you a question and then you're going to answer that question, all right? So let's go. First up, where are you going to go this weekend? Nice, you can either talk about a plan for yourself and say, I am going to go to or you can talk about a plan for a group and say, we are going to go to, and you can keep using either I or we for all of these questions. One of the nice things about talking in the future tense is that it's the exact same for every different person we might talk about. It's just going to. So I'm going to keep asking you questions and you are going to keep answering with either I or we. Okay, so where are you going to go this weekend? Ah, nice memory. Okay, uh, when are you going? Saturday, Sunday, Friday, night, morning, when are you going? 
Oh, nice. So where are you going this weekend? Uh-huh. And when are you going? Nice. All right. Question number three. What are you going to do this weekend? Nice answers. Okay, let's put it all together. I'm going to start over. Where are you going to go this weekend? Ah, and when are you going? Oh, nice. What are you going to do there? Cool. You can see I'm going faster. You got to keep up. All right, question number four. What are you going to see on your weekend? Nice, it sounds like you'll see some interesting things. Okay, let's put it all together. Okay, uh, where are you going to go this weekend? Nice, when are you going? Uh-huh, what are you going to do? Yeah, and what are you going to see? Awesome. Okay, last question, number five. And this one might be the most important, but that's maybe just because I'm feeling a little hungry right now. What are you going to eat and drink? Mmm, that sounds good. All right, memory wipe. I'm going to ask you like I don't know any of this, and I want you to tell me about your amazing weekend plan. Okay. Hey, what's up? Where are you going to go this weekend? Oh, nice. When are you going? Oh, cool. What are you going to do? Awesome, awesome. And what are you going to see there? Nice. Sounds really cool. And last, what are you going to eat and drink? Awesome. Sounds like really nice weekend plans. Great job answering my questions and speaking more quickly like we're having a real conversation. One thing you might have heard there at the end as I started speaking more and more quickly is that my pronunciation shifted. This is something you're going to notice as you start speaking with more and more people. Some people, especially people who speak English as a first language, when they're speaking fast will squeeze words together. And that happens with the words going to. Some people will say that fast and instead of saying, I'm going to go to the beach, they'll say, I'm gonna go to the beach. Gonna. It's how I talk. If I'm talking to my friends, my family, in an informal situation, I'm gonna say gonna. Now, I'm not going to use gonna in an essay that I'm turning in for school, I'm not going to say gonna with my boss or professor, so I'm not gonna use gonna in an informal situation. But I am gonna use gonna in an informal situation. And you are going to hear people say gonna. So as a speaker, you get to decide what kind of voice you want to have. If you want to sound more formal or more informal. Maybe sometimes you want to sound really fancy and formal, and so you are going to say going to. Maybe sometimes you want to sound more casual and relaxed, and so you're going to say gonna. Both are okay in the right context. But what's important for me is that you are going to understand both when you hear them. That's what you got to do. All right. Nice All right. work. We only have one more thing to do. And that's the thing that I told you at the beginning of class we were going to do at the end. I'm going to ask you the same two questions that we started class with, and I want you to answer them so that you can notice how you might have improved over the course of these practice activities. If you'd like, you can grab a phone or another electronic device, and you can record yourself speaking and then listen to it. That's a really nice way for you to notice your own learning and growth, and also notice any mistakes that you might make. So I'm going to ask you these questions and you can answer them however feels comfortable for you. I'll also share my answers so that you have a little feedback on how we talk about the future. And then I am going to wish you well on continuing to practice this. So my first question is, what are you going to do tomorrow? Nice. It sounds like you've got an interesting and busy day planned. 
Tomorrow, I'm going to go on a bike ride. I'm going to teach a class in Zoom. And I'm also going to edit this video and get it ready to be uploaded to YouTube. What are you going to do this weekend? Nice. That sounds like a really fun plan. I'm going to go camping. So I'm going to pack everything in my car and I'm going to get together with my friends and I'm going to drive out to a place called Enchanted Rock where there's a giant mountain rock in the middle of a forest and we are going to hike to the top of it. And we are going to watch the sunset. So those are my weekend plans. Well, thank you so much for practicing with me, speaking about our future plans. It's been great. And I know we are going to see each other again in the future. So until then, good luck practicing and take care everybody. Bye.